What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how to sell your house without a realtor. Yes, you can do it and I'm gonna show you all of the steps on how to do it from start to finish. Now first, before you get started, you need to still have a team. You may not be using a realtor, but it's still important to have a team. So, let's talk about that. Your team, right here, the first, people that you need. Number one, you need a lawyer, okay? Make sure you have a lawyer. This is gonna give you a good comfort level when a buyer is trying to buy your house, you know, the contract is done right, they look at things, they oversee things, everything is good, okay? So the first thing we have is our lawyer. Now, next, what you need is a good photographer that knows photography and videography. You wanna get good photos of your house, Make sure they're high level for the marketing as well as the video. So the next person on your team, sorry, is the photographer. Lastly, you have your lawyer. He's your comfort level. Make sure nothing goes wrong throughout the whole process. The next one is you have the photographer. He's gonna help you with your marketing material and all that stuff. Now the last person is, you need somebody that understands how to make flyers. This is easy, it's not expensive. You can go on things like guru.com, find somebody for 10 bucks to make it for you. What you wanna do is you wanna have someone that can make your flyers and they need to put a few things on those flyers. They need to put the photos in the, on the flyers, they need to put the price that you are asking, features of your home, and you can also put some houses in the area, prices that they are selling for in that area, so people can see what the area is selling for and someone's gonna come in and wanna buy that house. So that is step number one. Now, step number two, what we're gonna do here is your price you need to understand what you are going to be listing your house at. Now, you need to find comparables in your area, see what they are selling for, you need to understand what the condition of your home is, all that stuff. Is it, is it turnkey? Does it need a lot of repairs? What is the condition of your home to the comparables in that area? Now, I understand you're not working with a realtor, so you're gonna need to use things like House Sigma, which is something in our area of Ontario. You can go on House Sigma, and you can actually see what houses are selling for. Then you know your price, okay? Now understand, the condition is really important because it's in really bad shape. You're gonna have to play around a little bit because an investor is gonna wanna renovate it, they're gonna wanna flip it, do something like that. So understand what your price is going to be. Now, number three, you need to understand what type of market you're in. So the market, okay? You've got your team, you've got your marketing material, you've got your price, your house is ready to go, you can start showings. Now what type of market are you in? Are you in a seller's market? Are you in a buyer's market? People that are selling their home by themselves typically do that in a seller's market, or maybe they actually can't afford to have a lawyer, they can't afford a lot of those expensive things, they need to sell their house fast, then in that case, sure, you might, you might sell it during a buyer's market, you might sell it during a seller's market, but it's important to know this so that you can set up your offer presentation. Are you gonna hold offers? Are you gonna do 24 hours irrevocable? How are you gonna set that up? Now I recommend don't just accept the first offer. You probably wanna hold offers, send it out to a lot of investors, have an offer date, have an offer time, and make sure you get the right price. Step number four, marketing, right here. Where are you putting your house? You need to make sure that people are seeing it. So, you have to put your house on as many platforms as possible. You wanna put it in front of as many buyers as possible. So, what you can do, okay, you can post your house on Kijiji. This is a good option. A lot of people post their houses on Kijiji. The other thing that you can do, which I highly, highly recommend, is go on Facebook. In your local area, wherever you are from, you will see real estate investor groups. Now in those groups, post the flyer that you got your guy to make on guru.com. And when you post that, you're gonna see a bunch of people are gonna start emailing you, messaging you. There's a lot of property investors, a lot of buyers, people looking for off-market deals. Facebook is a killer. Now the next one, for us in Ontario where we are, it's MLS. Now. 
You don't need to be a realtor to post your home on MLS. That's the truth. A lot of people think you do, but you don't. You just have to pay them a fee. It's not an expensive fee, but you pay them a fee. You make sure that, again, you have all your marketing material done, everything is there, and you're going to post it on MLS in your local board. So for us, we are the Hamilton board, the Toronto board. So we would post it on there, and that would actually show a lot of buyers. Now, the only thing that you need to be prepared about, when you post your house on MLS, you're gonna have real estate agents approaching you, the buyer side, so they might want 2%. If they want 2%, it's up to you if you wanna do it, everything is negotiable, or you'll still though have buyers coming directly to you, so MLS is really good. Now, these fees right here, there still are a little bit of fees like the lawyer fee, the photographer, the flyer, all that stuff. But understand, let's say your house is worth 600K, okay? At 4%, to a real estate agent, which is what you would pay if you were using a realtor, you're gonna pay $24,000 in realtor fees. So, to just pay for the lawyer, the photographer, have the flyers done, trust me, it's gonna be a lot less than this. So that's really important to know. Now that you understand all this, you need to make sure that your house is ready to go. Everybody's in different situations, and if you're selling by yourself, your house could be in a little bit of a rougher situation. Maybe you're in that situation where you gotta get rid of it quickly, or if your house is in really good condition, everything is still good, just declutter, get your house ready, make sure it's clean, no mess, no issues, you're ready to show it. Now the good thing is, when you're selling your house by yourself, you're probably not gonna have 90 to 100 showings, you will have less, but you're still gonna get serious buyers, so make sure your house is ready, step by step before you do any of this. Okay, so it's offer time now, right? You, maybe you held offers for a week, maybe you're doing 24 hours irrevocable, you have your offer time here, you know, make sure you do not accept the first offer, okay? Now here we are going to negotiate. This is the important part, make sure you negotiate, you have your buyers coming in, your investors coming in, people wanting to buy your house. Now, like I mentioned, the condition that it is in, you gotta make sure that you know this with your comparables because when they come in, they're gonna also wanna make sure that they got a good deal. Now remember, you're saving $24,000, so they know that, you know that, there's gonna be a bit of a negotiation process here. Now, part of the negotiation process, investors, when they're buying a house, directly from the owner and it's off market, they can do things for you such as pay for your lawyer's fees. Now you just got rid of that one. Help pay for your closing costs, maybe help you with your movers. A lot of situations when someone's gonna flip a home and an investor's gonna buy it, they'll actually even allow you to leave your stuff in that house. You only have to take out what you want. So in this situation, yes, it can be done. Now we are also home buyers and investors this is what we do. We buy off-market listings, we help owners, we cover their costs for their lawyers, we cover their costs for closing, and we also let them leave their stuff in the home because it's a win-win. They get a good deal, they save a lot of money, we get a good deal, we renovate the property, we flip the property, everybody's happy. So if you are interested in working with us, you have your first buyer right here, so thank you for watching this video and click the link down below. You can fill out your information. The way it will work is one of us will give you a call, we'll come meet you at your house, we'll give you an offer within 24 hours, make sure that we both agree on the price, everybody's happy, and you don't need to go searching for a buyer because we're right here. So just click the link down below, fill it all out. We'll see you guys next time, and don't forget, like this video and subscribe.